Hi guys, my name is Emily, and today I'm going to talk about Major Pettigrew's Last Stand by Helen Simonson. This is a book recommended to me by a co-worker who found my channel, thought I would like it based on other things that I've read. Also, this is the book that I purchased with my first Read 5 by 1. This is the story of Major Ernest Pettigrew, a 60-something year old widower. He's British, he's very stodgy. After his brother dies, there ends up being some family conflict. His son Robert's a bit of a Ding dong. The Indian shopkeeper, Mrs. Ali, is someone that becomes his friend. Right in the cover, it says this book is a slow burning pleasure. And I think that's the perfect way to describe this. This slow, kind of blossoming friendship slash romance between Major Pettigrew and Mrs. Ali is beautiful and perfect. And there are, of course, cultural misunderstandings. And the book had a somewhat unexpected ending. But the book does wrap up nicely and it made me feel all warm and fuzzy. One of the things that I loved so much about this book is how Major Pettigrew judges other people based on their ability to serve tea. So I'm drinking a cup of tea right now because it just it felt appropriate to drink tea while reading this book and while reviewing this book. Today I'm drinking the Earl's Valentine, which is kind of a variation on Earl Grey. I don't think the Major would approve of this tea. There are little bits of chocolate in it that ruin the perfect cup of tea. That was something that I loved. Anyone who served him tea or anywhere they went, he went for a walk and oh, it wasn't a good tea because they served it in styrofoam cups. When he went to his niece's house, she was like, oh yeah, well, I guess I'm obligated to serve you something. And she opens up this bonus pack of some fruity teas and some chamomile tea. And he's like, uh, no, thank you. I'll have some real tea. And so she digs out this box of orange pico and she pops the bag in. He describes it as smelling like wet socks and you can almost picture the tea bag as this bloated rotting carcass floating in some sort of polluted pond. Just his disdain for this cup of tea. And then when he finally has Miss Ali over to his house, he's serving tea and he starts nitpicking the china that he's going to use and the teapot that he's going to use. I just, I noticed how much he judged people based on their ability to prepare tea and the quality of the tea. And of course, Mrs. Ali, his lovely romantic interest is the blender of custom loose leaf teas for Major Pettigrew. I loved and hated the Major at some points. He's just so polite. Like he has to be polite about everything because that's how he was brought up. That's his station and his training and you can't disappoint the family name. And so you have to be polite to the point that I'm really frustrated for him and I would love to yell and throw things and just get mad. And he's like, well, I will make a polite response. And you're like, Major, Major, please stand up for yourself. And I loved that over the course of the book, he does start to stand up for himself and to speak his mind. There's one point where his son is just being a total git. He calls him out on it. And that moment I was cheering the Major on as he told his son off. The Major kind of grew on me as a character. Initially, he's established as very stodgy and I came to love that stodginess. The interracial relations are interesting. The Major's father was actually involved in India during the time that it was a British colony. And so, there are some interesting, complicated relationships there. I feel like I really need to read the book again. Honestly, I probably should have sat down and wrote my thoughts down. I just, I finished this book and I loved it so much that I wanted to talk about it. I might put a more nuanced discussion video together at some point. I really, really enjoyed it. And I would highly recommend that you check out Major Pettigrew's Last Stand. It was cute and it was funny, but it also has some stuff to think about. I think I need to do a little bit more reading about India as a colony and how they gained their independence, like how that came about. I don't have a lot of context for this book, so I'd like to do some more reading. I would love to hear your thoughts on this if you have read it, especially about the relationship between Major Pettigrew and Mrs. Ali. So I look forward to discussions in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.